Hey guys, welcome to Crystal Screw. In this video, I'm going to show you how to clean up your computer and make it run smoother and faster, as well as deleting some viruses that are hidden on your computer if you may not know. So, what are you going to do is first of all, down all the programs what I will leave in the description. It will be three programs CCleaner, Super Anti Spyware, and Malware Bytes Anti Malware. These three programs are uh, not standard on your computer. I uh, recommend to download them and then as well what you try to well just search on your desktop already D F R G U I I'll show you this icon G U I I'll show you this just click it well uh, just drag it on your computer screen then once you've done that I uh, should recommend you to go to start go to computer just click it and you'll see your C drives and your D drive. If you have a secondary drive, your D drive, or you know. So what you can do is just click on your local C drive where your Windows is running on. You right click it, go to properties. It'll ask you to do, um, disk cleanup. It won't delete anything from your computer. It will just clean up all the files of your system what they're not used, and they'll just take your memories up. So you're gonna just you're gonna click on that, and then you're gonna wait and just let it finish. Once that is finished, you, there will pop up an uh, external window which showing you uh, downloaded uh, program data, um, office web uh, pages, uh, bin, timely files, and all. Just You can check that all. It won't harm your computer at all. It will clean it up. So keep in mind it won't clean up, uh, it won't delete anything. Then you click on OK. And it will ask you, are you sure you want to delete these files permanent? And you kill yes, um, uh, file remove, something like that. Once you do that, another window will, another window will uh, pop up and it will delete everything. So it's now cleaning it up. And once that is done, you're done with that. And you have some extra more memory on your computer. Then what I will do is go to C Cleaner. I'll go professional, uh, I'm not gonna update it, but uh, I made a video how to get CCleaner for free, professional version. Um, if you want that, uh, you can download, uh, well, you can follow that tutorial and you get CCleaner professional for free. So then you're just gonna click on analyze and it will analyze your system files. So once it's analyzed, you click on run CCleaner, yes, okay. And it will delete everything. This can take a while, I haven't done it for a second, but I'm having uh, uh, advanced system care, so it does it daily automatically. So I don't know, I have no worries for that. No, not need you. Okay, so it's cleaned up. That was uh, 586 megabytes removed. Then we're going to scan our computers for some uh, viruses. So um, for this program, I would like you to subscribe and then um, show me. Well, I'm not gonna ask you really for showing you, but I want you to uh, message me on uh, YouTube, private message me that you have subscribed, and I'll give you a key. I'll, I will give you a link uh, with the download and a serial key what you have to use for this to get the lifetime full subscription. Um, I recommend you to not update it since it is a crack, and this program is really hard to crack. So um, I recommend you to do is uh, not update it like it asked me to update it. Just don't do it. Scan your computer now. Here you will see mod modified files. Only scan modified files from the past one day or year. I'm gonna do one day, so it's fast. You can do it one year. You can as well select multiple uh, hard drives if it's needed or if it's necessary. But I'm just gonna do one day. I'm gonna st uh, start the computer scan. So this is gonna scan, this is like the GUI how it looks. I'm gonna pause the video right now until it's done to a spare of video time and I'll see you back in a bit. Alright, so after the scan is complete it will it will show another window saying super inspire scan results, memory item scans, 5.44, file item scan 29,677, scan time 16 minutes, one nearly 17 minutes. Okay, and there were no treats found. If there were treats found on the computer, it will ask you to uh, restart. Uh, well, you have to check the treats and uh, then click on clean up or something like that.
Don't ask you to uh, research your computer and then you have to research your computer if it will be necessarily. Then you go to malware by to empty malware, you click OK, yes, blah blah blah. This is the pro version of it as well. I have no serial key what I can provide you guys, you just have to do it with, with the free version. But I'm pretty sure you can uh, get that uh, somewhere else. So you have to search for a fast scan. Well, you just you click on full scan if it's possible. Otherwise, you do a fast scan. Well, I'm doing a fast scan to uh, not. I'm not gonna spend too much time on it to wait. So I'm gonna do a fast scan. I'm gonna scan it. This will find some objects on my computer. Obviously, well, I can help. But everybody has a. Uh, um, uh, detected objects, well, infected objects on their computers, so uh, on my computer there will be around 6,000, I think, since I, uh, well, it wasn't full scan 6,000, so I'm not sure how many you can find. Well, I'm gonna let this run in the background, and I'll see you guys back in a few minutes. See ya. So we're already 30 sec uh, 40 seconds for and I already have 10 scanned objects, so uh, I'm gonna just let this run. Alright, so once it's finished, it says scan is completely, well, it's completed, uh, check results and uh, to blah blah blah, see all uh, detected objects, so I got 42 objects, that's pretty good, uh, where was it, I think, quarantine, it will probably, oh no, check results, here it is, you see now here millions of fires, well this would have removed in the past, so don't worry about that, so I have to remove these, I'm gonna select them all probably. Remove selected. Oh well, yeah, I deleted some. Anyway, so you've cleaned up your computer right and cut this out, but Alright, so um sorry for that. Uh what you're gonna do right now is go open up a DFR GUI. If you haven't coped it yet to your desktop, you just open start and type in DF GUI. The fragmentate GUI or what it is. DFR, sorry, DFR GUI, and then just drag and drop it on your desktop. You open it, and now comes the fun part, what will take months and months and months. So you open the program up, this program doesn't delete anything from your computer as well, it uh, makes your memory, well, it makes your computer respond faster. So what you're gonna do is, click on your C drive and click on, um, uh, lab, what was it again, this, the fragment dating or what it is. You're gonna click on that and it will take very long. It will take ages. Seriously. I'm not lying. It took me pretty long to ac accomplish. I'm not gonna let it accomplish but what's it? It will analyze the first then it will defrag it then you get like part one or something like that and then once you've done that it's fully cleaned up then the best thing which you can do is once you've done this restart or reboot your computer. And once it's rebooted, it will work fan fast, it will respond fast, it will click, like, do, 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 do. it will be much faster, it will be about over 15 to 20% faster if you have followed these. Why? It deleted harm, very harming virus on your computer, uh, incorrect files, it fixed files, it deleted unneeded files on your computer. Uh, what else did it? Um, it cleaned it up, cleaned your browser history, etc. It um, defragged your systems, uh, this everything and this will increase your computer speed drastically so if you follow this and the follow the tutorial correct there won't be any problems if you didn't follow the tutorial if you didn't follow the tutorial correct I'm not responsible for breaking your system this is done on a Windows 7 computer and it works on 99% of your computers the other 1% is Mac users it won't work for them well it will work but with different programs so if you didn't follow the computer correct and your system should break and, and you're using Windows XP or anything, I'm not responsible. Why? Because you've probably done something wrong and didn't follow the, the tutorial correct. So I'm not responsible for that. It won't happen if you follow it. And don't worry, it will work. And there's actually nothing worse to mess up. So hope you enjoyed this video. Please drop a like and also subscribe if you want the key for Super and Spy were professional. So comment if it worked, subscribe to get the key, and like if you love me. See you guys, hope you enjoyed, and I'm out. Bye.